you know, there's always an implied mystery story in every piece of thrift store art. You know, in other words, who made it? You know, why did they make it? And what did it mean to the artist? And then, most importantly, perhaps, why did they throw it away? There's a certain charm to these original pieces of art and people do seem to take care to uh, frame them. They look, generally they look pretty nice in, in a frame. Um, and from there, it's kind of a situation where, you know, the price is really reasonable for a, a piece of original art. You know, normally you're not gonna pay more than $5. And uh, so it's, it's a reasonable deal and these, are, I just I just like uh, the majority of them that I see. People want to know, well, are you an artist? And I say, no, I'm a collector. And I guess I never thought of myself as a collector, but I think after you get more than like four or five, then you sort of become a collector by default. So now I'm just sort of in a collector mode, and fortunately I have enough wall space that I can actually hang anything I come across, I have a space to, to hang it. Another thing that I like about thrift store art is that you can really decorate a room with, with this kind of art. I mean, you can just uh, have these all over the place on, on the wall and um, do a pretty decent job decorating a living space. Now, I'm, I'm not a, a decorator, but I do feel like these, uh, these accent a room. Because I've found stuff in trash piles and yard sales and thrift stores, you know, it's any, any place that somebody just wants to get rid of this thing. So you, there's this discovery element. I, you know, you're driving along and you look at a trash pile and it's like, hey, wait a minute, there's something there. And so you've discovered it. Or in a thrift store and you're looking through all these, you know, frames and prints and you find a painting. And then it's, you know, it almost, it almost becomes yours even more just because you've discovered it, like a piece of gold that you've discovered. In a, in a stream or something, you know, it's, it's very exciting to just go through and find this stuff. Some of these paintings a lot of people put a lot of time into and, and energy and money for the, the supplies and a lot of thought. Especially these original scenes, they have to think up all the characters and placement and the colors and everything and then if you can get all that person's hard work and energy and thought for just a couple bucks, you know, that is a bargain because you're getting a lot of sweat equity, you know, that they, that person put into this painting. Probably the first one I ever found, the two Indians sneezing on each other, mm -hmm. is probably, that's really one of my favorites, you know, just because um, it, it was, the I think, one of the first ones that I found. Um, and it's just, it's so primitive and, it, you know, in the way it was painted. And at the same time, when you look really closely, you can see that the artist made these brush strokes in the background painting came coming out of the Indians' mouths that look like they're sneezing on each other. And so it seems like I may be laughing at that painting, but, I'm, you know, I'm really just enjoying, you know, the way it was painted, you know, the, the technique that was used. Um, I get the sense sometimes that this is it. This is their one true work of art in oil painting and they have it in a nice frame and they're proud of it for a while but I think that they find that it's difficult in a way. I think that is what lends itself to kind of the, the amateur nature of the thrift store art and they realize that they're probably never going to paint again and so you know that's my idea that this is their one uh, significant contribution to the art world i have another series by a guy all i know about him his name is studzinski and he apparently lived in milwaukee or something and he painted he must have had a lot of lady friends because he you know, I found a stash of portraits of women. And, uh, you know, some of them would have the women's names, like Barbara, 
and sometimes he would have a phone number or an address. So you kind of have, you know, a, a sketch of a biography forms out of this guy's, you know, work. Um, but then you wonder, why did they throw this stuff away? Because a lot of times you think, well, this is a work of amateur art. That somebody, somebody handmade this thing and, you know, what do they couldn't really sell it because it's a lot of times it's so amateurish. It's not like it's going to sell in a gallery and somebody's going to pay a lot of money. So the idea is that either the artist himself discarded it or he gave it to somebody, a friend or a family member. And then why did the family member get rid of it? Is there, is there a broken relationship going on, you know? Did they get mad at, at Studzinski and throw all his work away? Or, uh, you know, was the artist himself rejecting his own work? You know, I'm a failure as an artist. I'll never be famous. Or this work is garbage. You know, I'm just going to, you know, get rid of it. The artist has chosen this sort of greenish background. And so in order to get the shading right, the artist had to use green shading. The shading kind of came off as like green pit stains here and maybe like a little fungus under the chin and you know around the nose. But on the whole I really like the painting because this seems like a guy that you know you might know. If somebody just did a portrait that was you know a very skilled portrait it wouldn't be as interesting. I can't really think of any work that I would laugh at you know like in mockery, you know, in a way you, you could laugh with the artist that, wow, you know, look at this, you know, like I've got this one of the clown that split down the middle, you know, the hobo clown and the, and the, the is this the other, another kind of clown, it's just, you know, it's just so silly, you know, and I think the artist maybe meant, you know, for it to be fun, you know. What kind of uh, reaction do you get to this? To your, to your collection? I think people either really dig it or they, they just don't understand it. And you either get quizzical looks or you'll get, you know, compliments. People that, generally people haven't seen stuff like this before. And I think that's really one of the things that makes Thrift Store really amazing is that, you know, that it is possible to create you know, something that has a, a, you know, a great deal of meaning and can be really interesting to look at and fun to look at at the same time. It's so rare that they tr so anybody, you know, anybody tries to create art for themselves and here's somebody created some art for themselves. And, uh, you know, I think that's just a really, you know, that elevates it above, you know, you know, any other concerns that you might you might have. <laughs>